Okay, so today we're here making the burger for the project that's the Burger You Are Way, which um, I've made a lot of separate videos for all the different parts that will go on the burger. And um, this is the burger itself, as I said. So you're going to need the large dinner plates, one to work on and one to dry. And then the other thing you need is some water with a wide brush. So to begin, what you do, you take your toilet paper and just, you'll notice that there are perforated sheets in squares already. And what you want to do is to just roll it a few times into those squares. And then after you've done that, you can take it and tear it off. And now do it in another direction and just roll it oops sorry roll it what you want to do is you want your burger to have a rounded kind of a shape of course we could probably cheat a little bit this is the center of the burger and if we want to we can actually even cut the, this or tear this um, you could cut it with scissors, or we could tear it with our fingers. Um, but if you notice, I'm doing it loosely and gently to get the most out of the paper, out of the roll of paper that I'm using. And I'm thinking about how I want it to be shaped. I'm already sort of pressing down the back and giving it a little bit of a round kind of a shape. And by turning it, that will round it out also. And um, so you keep doing this until your burger feels like it's about an eighth of an inch thick. It won't be really as thick as the burger is going to be when it's all finished, but you want it to have some substance and not feel like you're just grabbing on some thin uh, layers of the toilet paper but to feel like you've got something solid in your hand so you just keep going until you feel like that use your judgment and now it's getting easier actually because I'm able to turn it at different angles and pull it and it's not really feeling as flimsy Feels like it's getting more of a shape to it, which is very nice. And I hope you're getting the same experience over there and what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, maybe it would be easier even just to make sure that you just take that roll over there and let a little bit out at a time to the side. I think it is. Okay, I like that. Okay, so now I'm going to put this roll aside. And um, I feel like my burger has some pretty good shape to it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some layers of the toilet paper. One, two, three. And I'll do four. Five, six, and you could do this along with me. And seven, I'll lower the light a little bit. Seven, eight, nine pieces. Then I'm going to take this and dampen it. Just put little drops and watch that water spread out. Oh. Lovely, just lovely. Looks like it's just getting just the right amount da damp, not not too wet. Just a perfect amount. So we don't want it to fall apart. We're going to be wrapping this. So I have to decide which side to put face down. I think this is my better side. I feel like it's just looks a little bit neater, so I'm going to put that face down, put the better side face down. And then, just pick this up, and as you wrap it, pull it 
in a way that it's shaping out into that burger. So it should be round. Just keep pulling it up, pulling, pulling from all different directions. And then what will happen is you'll have these wonderful little folds that are all coming to the same part in the center. And this side oh, looks fabulous. Just fabulous. But this side needs a little work. It's going to have to have some more layers on it. So I'm going to put that aside and we're going to do that again. Maybe not with quite so much. One, I'll do four. Two, three, and four. And then add my water. And I want this to sort of disappear into the sides, and you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to take this part that doesn't look too good, put it face down. But now I want the sides very gently to just disappear. That's why I didn't put too much. Disappear gently to the sides. And I could even pull off some of this if there's too much. There's excess. You can sort of tear it. And it'll feather. Oh, that looks wonderful. That is going to be the bottom. Mm -hmm. And this is the top over here. And what you want to do is once you've got it just right, burger, you want to set it aside to dry just like so. And it'll dry 48 hours and then you can paint it. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. See you soon. We'll do something else that's going to go on your burger.